The number of people admitted in the hospital with COVID is rising, with some healthcare systems seeing double, even triple the number of patients they saw this time a month ago. CBS 17's Crystal Price spoke with one hospital who tells us 90% of those people who are getting admitted are not vaccinated. Well, during the last peak in January, Duke Health was treating more than 200 COVID patients in their hospitals. Now that number is at 52, and they say those hospital beds are filling up fast. Like I was oh, so tired. I didn't want to do anything but sleep. 25-year-old Charnesia Moy was putting off getting the COVID vaccine because she was pregnant with her third child a couple months after her child was born is when she came down with a fever and started feeling fatigued. I was having trouble breathing. Everything I do, I would cough where I couldn't catch my breath. She tested positive for COVID, was almost immediately put on a ventilator. She stayed in the hospital for weeks and almost didn't make it. Tonight, she's planning to get vaccinated. I feel like that's the only way we can break this chain. With the new Delta variant picking up speed, hospitals across the triangle are seeing more and more COVID patients like Moy. At UNC Health, they had 50 a month ago. Now their COVID patient load has tripled. At Duke Health, they had 25 patients a month ago. Now they have more than double that. Every bed is filled. We work every day uh, to move patients. Duke Health's Chief Medical Officer Lisa Pickett says 90% of their COVID patients are not vaccinated. Many of them are younger to middle-aged adults. Um, and they're the ones that are very sick in our hospitals. As for UNC Health, their hospitals are not at capacity yet. But Dr. David Weber says they are in need of more health care workers to care for the growing number of COVID patients. Expect uh, that the number of cases we're seeing will probably increase uh, over the next uh, uh, two to eight weeks by two to three fold. Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.